Canada's inflation rate rose to a new multi-decade high of 5.7% last month as the price of gas and groceries went up. And you know what follows inflation? Interest rates. And interest rates went up again, just like we were warned and it happened fast. In fact, twice already this year. So what does this mean for you, the consumer? Can you still afford to buy a home in 2022? Or is the market going to finally crash? Let's talk about it. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. If you're finding value in these types of videos, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification to stay up to date on new content as soon as it drops. My name is Andre with The Meadow Group and we help buyers and sellers navigate the market here in the nation's capital. As well, if you'd like to book a buyer's consultation or a seller's consultation or simply chat about real estate, there's a link in the description below. Spoiler alert, the market is not going to crash. I repeat, the bubble is not going to burst. We knew about interest rates going up again. It wasn't a question of if, but when. Bank of Canada has raised its key interest rate by the highest amount in more than 20 years and warns more rate hikes are coming. The most recent announcement was a rate hike of 0.5% that happened on April 13th. This was the second hike this year, the first one being March 2nd of 2022, and it was an increase of 0.25%. And yes, we are scheduled for three more announcements this year. Whether the rates will actually go up again, we don't know yet, but we'll be sure to update you once we get any info. You are going to be hearing a lot of news headliners on this topic in the next couple of months, but what you need to understand is that pre-pandemic, the overnight rate was 1.75. We are now at 1%. With the pace we're going, we're probably going to hit that, if not closer to 2% by the end of the year. And we've seen rates go up historically for them to come back down, right? I'll link a video above that talks about past inflation and interest rates. I've gotten a lot of questions the last couple of days, and I want to talk about two things today. What this means for the buyer, and how much are your monthly payments going to increase? So what does this ultimately mean for the buyer? There are a lot of buyers that have been sitting out the last couple of years hoping that prices will drop on a home, but what you have to understand is that besides the purchase price of a home, you are actually buying a mortgage or a monthly payment that is tied to current interest rates. So now all of a sudden money costs more to borrow. Will higher interest rates cool down the market a bit? Absolutely. And we need some kind of a correction, especially in terms of how high prices have grown over the last years. But is it enough for home prices to drop or will the appreciation of home values just not accelerate as fast? In 2020 here in Ottawa, appreciation was 19.9%. Last year in 2021, it was 22%. That is serious growth in the value of your home year over year. Who does the new rate hike affect the most? Those with fixed rate mortgages aren't gonna feel a difference as they're locked in, but anyone with a variable rate or HELOC, home equity line of credit, will have a difference. Now, depending on the type of variable rate you have, some will only have the interest part of the payment increase, but total monthly payments stay the same. You need to confirm all this with your lender or the type of variable rate you currently have. Back in March, when the first rate was announced, for every $100,000, your mortgage, the payment would increase approximately by $12 per month. I spoke to a couple of lenders last week, and now let's say on a $500,000 mortgage, it'll increase by about $110, $120 a month. People will not lose their homes, and please remember that the stress test was introduced specifically for this reason, to protect you, the home buyer, should something like this change in the current market. So will the latest increase in rates have a cooling effect on the market for spring? Maybe. There are other factors affecting the market as well. We have lots of new Canadians coming to the country and they're looking to buy homes. And don't forget, we still have a supply problem. Theoretically, home prices should hover a bit, but buyers will be paying more interest on their monthly mortgage payments. I think this will affect first time home buyers the most, but this announcement does not affect the majority of people who already own homes since most of them have fixed rate mortgages. Essentially, those that can pass the stress test and put enough money down, a higher interest rate won't stop them from making an offer on a home, but it might limit their spending on other things. If you're a buyer right now, I would recommend that you speak to your mortgage broker or lender and talk about the best option for rate. Maybe lock it in or stay variable. It would all depend on your current situation. Don't forget that in 2018, Canada implemented the stress test specifically for the reasons we're talking about today. The average buyer can still purchase a mortgage with the current changes to the rates. Demand might not be as crazy for the next couple of months, but we still have a supply issue and I'm not sure prices will just start to drop. Let's keep an eye out and stay tuned for the next month over month market update as the numbers will tell us exactly that. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think this will mean for buyers, especially the ones trying to get into the market? Will prices drop, stay the same? Drop a comment below. Thanks so much for tuning in. Catch you in the next one.